flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro over water can capture some excellent photos and videos, but it can also be challenging in poor conditions. So let's discuss some of my top ways you can keep your drone safe over water. So flying your drone over water is exceptional fun and can capture some fantastic views. I love doing this, but for beginners, it is really daunting. So make sure you fly over land first, build up some confidence, understand the fail safe features on here and the settings on how to use them. Now to build up the confidence, you need to understand and trust the technology. The fail safe features in these drones, especially the Mini 3 Pro is fantastic. So go and practice first of all over land, Put the return to home on and just see how it comes back to you. So build up that confidence. Understand how it all works. So if you set those fail safe features correctly, like your return to home feature, the drone most of the time will come back to you without a problem. So the videos you'll see where you see like the drones like crashing into the sea or going away in the distance and like miles away and it doesn't get back. That's mainly because they haven't watched this video. <laughs> so make sure you follow these tips along and you'll have a fantastic time flying your drone over the sea. Let's get into number one. Now the number one consideration with these drones is about the wind and the weather. These are only 249 gram drones. Now the wind performance on here is decent, but against strong winds, it's not gonna win, is it? And you don't want this to lose over the sea where you've got limited options of where you're gonna put this. So you wanna go and get a weather app that's gonna show you the wind direction and speed. I use UAV forecast, it's free. This will show you the wind direction. And you want to fly towards the wind. So if the wind is blowing like this way, I want to fly into the wind. That means if I have to get the drone back, I've got the wind on my side to bring the drone back to me. Really important. And you may notice the majority of all my water shots are not that far away from the shoreline. I'm not getting my drone and sending it six miles away to perv on some people someday then on top of a boat. And I'm wondering when it is six miles away, why it's not gonna get back to me in time before that battery goes. You've got to be really considerate about where you're actually flying when you're over the sea. So if something is in the distance, like an, an object or a landmark or something, and you want to get that, do that first when you've got full battery. The battery on here, when it's against strong winds, will go down really fast. So my advice, again, is to do all the far away shots first of all, and then you can do all the close by shots over the shoreline, top down shots when it's pretty close to you, when you've got that lower battery. Do all the far away shots first. So how low can you actually go with this drone over the sea? I would advise no more than five to 10 meters. And this is because on the bottom here, it has these position sensors and you cannot turn them off. So it gets a bit confused about what is land and what is sea and the reflections off the water certainly don't help. So you might get some bizarre readings saying you're 0.3 meters high or three meters high or 10 meters high. So I wouldn't go really low. So what I use a lot on here instead is the zoom on here. So you can zoom up to two times in 4K and three times in 2.7K. And this creates that illusion you actually a lot lower than really you are. So as I fly towards this now, I'm just at the normal height, you can see this. And as I zoom in two times, it looks like I'm actually a lot lower and closer to this. It creates that illusion. And now if you switch it to 2.7K, I can zoom up to three times, which looks like I'm even lower. It's a great illusion whilst keeping your drone safe. And just remember this, it's only a digital zoom, it's not optical. So as you zoom in, the quality will deteriorate, but in 4K, it's still definitely usable. Okay, this is important. It falls into that user error if it's not done correctly. So don't just turn your drone on and go flying off to that party boat because as it's actually flying off towards that, it's probably gonna be about 50 or 100 meters away from you over the sea when this drone gets full GPS lock and it sets that home point. Now the home point is over in the middle of the sea. So if you lose a signal, then this drone will return back to its home point and land and continue to land unless you cancel it into the sea. Not a good start. So make sure 100% you don't skip this step, especially if you're gonna be flying over the sea. So get to your location, turn your drone on, turn it, get it all ready, and then just let it sit in place until it gets full GPS lock. And then it will say home point updated. Or 
if you're too impatient for that and you just want it to get, it just hover it in place where you are, really close to you, over land. And then once it says home point updated, then you go off towards that party boat. You don't go first. Now importantly, if you're not in a static location, you could be on a boat or another vessel, you want your home point to not be static. Otherwise it's gonna return back to somewhere you're not gonna be, you're on a boat, you're moving around. So how do we do that? Well in this situation, you need to then go on to update home point and you can do this once the drone is in the air. So how do you do this? If you're on the standard controller, you can do this via your mobile data. And if you're on the new RC controller, you need to make sure that you have connected your RC to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. Once you've done that, you can then access this menu and it will then pinpoint on a map whereabouts the drone is and where the controller is. And you can adjust this around. So you can either select this icon here and this will make sure that the drone returns to the current controller location. Or what you can do is you can drag the icon around and set it to maybe where you're heading to. Either way, you want this to be updating regularly as it doesn't auto update. So make sure for that reason, you're not mega far away from your drone when you're on a boat. And another tip, if you go into advanced safety settings, rather than actually returning to you, you can set it so it hovers in place. So that way, the drone, if it say loses signal, it will just sit in its current location and then you can see it through your map and you can either go and swim over to it or get on your boat and go over to it and then you can land it and take over rather than it actually returning to god knows where if you've not said it correctly so do one of those things 100 percent just remember, as much as I love this, these drones are not waterproof. So if you're gonna be flying quite close to that water and you get any splashes in here or fish or sharks grabbing this, it's not gonna end well at all. Salt water and this drone will not mix. And also just think about you taking off. Where are you taking off from? Don't take off over sand. It's gonna blow up into their motors. It's not gonna end well. And landing, don't land on anything wet. Think about maybe landing on your hand, taking off on your hand, go and practice that. Super important to realize that this drone is not water resistant. It'll withstand a little bit of rain, get it back and dry it off quickly, but salt water is a nightmare with these drones. And we talked about the actual wind before, and the wind resistance on here is good, but it's not perfect. So what about if you're over the sea, suddenly you're struggling to get this drone back, and it's actually, you know, like, it's, it's kind of like getting blown backwards. You're gonna be absolutely going, oh my God, it's over, it is gone. But just think, don't panic. To put it into sports mode and lower the altitude 10, 20 meters and then fly it back in sports mode and you'd be surprised. The drone will probably come back to you. You might have to change the course, but as long as it comes back to either you or land as a last resort, do that. It's better than landing it in the sea for sure. And it'd probably be fine then. I've had that quite a few times and I've always got it back to me just by following those steps. So number one, don't panic. And number two, never, ever go into the sea to try and retrieve it, swimming away frantically to try and get your drone. Not a good idea. Remember, it's just a drone. And now after listening to all that, you're probably like, oh, I am out. I am never flying this drone over the water, ever. But you have to, I love flying over the water. The camera on here, it has some fantastic photo and video capabilities. And over water especially, it's just a game changer. So it's just about understanding the drone, the fail safe options, the technology, trusting it, following these steps and you will love it. So I really hope you enjoyed that video guys and it helps out. If you did, please consider subscribing, like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.